Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will share very helpful information with you guys. Some modern vehicles when you replace camshaft sensors, crankshaft sensor or you worked on the timing, you installed new cylinder head, a timing chain, timing belt was off. Often guys, you will need to rewarm guys and calibrate the crankshaft and camshaft position sensor. We will show you guys how to do that today. Quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos. We take them completely apart. Why? Simply guys, because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that's all we need guys. Now, if you guys need to buy any replacement parts for your car, tools, scanner that we'll be using, amazing too. Check out guys, the link in the description of the video below, we will share it for your convenience. So, this car right here guys, okay. We will explain what we did to it guys, we actually did a timing chain replacement and I want to show you now, okay let me remove that cover quick, you have the camshaft position sensor okay, located right here, camshaft position sensor located here and um, then guys okay, we have the crankshaft position sensor all the way on the bottom okay right there, let me show you okay this is right there, so whether you guys put a new sensor okay replace the sensor and your car doesn't want to start or it's not running correctly you will need to recalibrate it and we will show you how guys not very complicated procedure at all so this is guys the scanner that we'll be using that too guys works on pretty much any car it's amazing too i want to show you some of the makes that it supports and they constantly release new updates guys okay check it out you can even work on ferraris bmws we use it on many bmws and mercedes uh, porsche vehicles guys so it's definitely guys a good investment it's like dual level equipment in your pocket guys and pretty much for any car you can do so much you can program keys with that thing i simply love you guys it paid itself off pretty quick at the shop here so if you uh if you have a shop or something like that or even if you have a couple of vehicles and you need some serious repairs okay that thing can pay itself off and then you have it for free in the future guys so what we'll do now okay let me show you now guys okay let me grab the key we're going to turn the ignition on without starting the car okay like that now i'll go on the outside i want to show you what we'll be doing it's establishing communication now so it's ready to go now you can click vin detection to automatically detect guys okay the vehicle or you can manually select it in our case we just click dodge it's going to load the vehicles Okay, we click manual selection, automatic, it will read the VIN number, decode it and select the vehicle on its own, so you don't have to do that. But I will go the long route, I'll just click a 2015 model. Okay, right there, and now what is this? Dart. We click diagnostics, and then we click control unit. Under control unit, you have the different... Uh, uh, different parts of the car, powertrain is transmission and engine, body is everything on the body, chassis is uh, ABS, traction control, things like that, info and communication, that's where the radio, instrument cluster and other components like that you can find. We'll click engine control module and you will see we almost get there now guys. We go to, okay, special functions, under special functions Check it out, we we'll have a function that's called cam crank reworn. Okay, right there. And what we have, you should use this function anytime a repair has been made that needs the cam and crank relationship to be rewarmed. We click OK. Now what's going to say now? Please start the engine. Now you have to make sure that your engine is warmed up and never start it inside your garage guys always outside ours the coolant is already warmed up if it's uh, below 70 degrees celsius you cannot perform that function i'll start the engine and listen what's going to happen now temperature 69 guys so our coolant got cold okay it's 69 so what i need to do now Okay, I need to bring it to about 70 degrees at least guys, it says 70 is the minimum or 158 Fahrenheit. So once we reach that temperature, okay, we should be ready to go. Okay, let me again, never start your car in your garage, always outside guys. Okay, now we're going to click escape and we're going to retry again. I'll turn the car off. Okay, car is off. 
The ignition key on. Now we click OK. It says setting. OK, please start the engine again. OK, it says it's in progress now. And complete, we're ready to go. So if the temperature is above 70, you should be ready to go, guys. You can see some vehicles may be different uh, number, more maybe 65, maybe 75 degrees. It really depends. But that's how you guys do it. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.